hello lovely people welcome back to my channel how are you doing hope you're well and good from our previous video we're going to continue the vlog in the city of bristol and i'm going to be showing you the things i go around to see and the lovely things i think you also should see and which i tell to share i promise to show you a sneak peek of this footpath i would say underneath um beside the center the psi center it's actually called um the center space gallery center space gallery and center space studio so i think the studio is a place where artists actually come to showcase their talents what they can do and it's a studio that helps um with talents however they've also gone ahead to create this footpath so that people come here and do a lot of things on the wall and actually sign their names on their work of art it's actually beautiful it makes this footpath so colorful such that you don't feel alone you know or feel the loneliness of the lonesomeness of this footpath so this footpath leads to the saint anthony's market on the other side of the road and all this is just a whole block of flats and buildings ranging from commercial buildings and residential buildings in the city of bristol so as you can see as i walk along this path every wall is actually painted with artistic impressions painted with a lot of work of art i mean a lot of things are here some actually blew my mind um i'm gonna try to um show you more you can have a look at that okay um a lot of things were just drawn it was just so colorful i'm just gonna let you um have a few day with um just looking at what has been done you can just imagine the whole mosaic of colors on that wall it's so beautiful pyramids of colors you know giving this wall some defined impressions of beauty i really loved it i mean it took a lot of work for whoever did that and i mean if you loved it you could actually reach out to them and ask them to do a work of art for yourself however that studio out there in this gallery this studio is along this footpath it is actually where people actually uh you know go and get their works um built upon so enjoy and as with everything um the footpath there were some places where which were not very clean however most of it was actually good and you could see some people who are actually having a feed day looking at the wall okay so um just outside of this wall beautiful gallery of the center space is the saint anthony's marketplace and this marketplace i've mentioned in previous video you have a lot of people putting their wares out on the streets both medium small and large scale businesses restaurants everybody's out on the streets displaying their wares out for people who are walking up and about the streets to see and to patronize them it's a beautiful place you can actually see loads of things artifacts um things that are semi-used um um like new which you can actually buy for good prices compared to the high street supermarkets and shops now the good thing about the houses in the uk is this victorian look of these houses and once you are in these houses you look like a pin in a haystack so what the highlight of today for me is finding this chinese shop in one of these victorian houses okay that you can see on here i'm gonna walk you through that shop and the lovely things that i did find other things that actually i loved as you can see those guitars if you were to purchase them you'll be buying them like what are the price of high street prices of guitars you could see a lot of things on this market trust me nothing is off limits for sales on the street market it's very popular in the uk and in around the uk anywhere that you find yourself so we're going to be going to this chinese um shop and the highlight for me in the chinese shop really was finding african stores i mean i was gobsmacked like who does that how could they get all of those things from africa so this is the entrance of the chinese shop and as you can see you can see impressions of chinese um um culture lion the doors 
those impressions and like i mentioned it was during the lockdown so you can see the social distancing and the use of sanitizers as any place walking into this place you see you find a lot of things this is like a go-to place for people who are on holiday in bristol you can come around here and pick something that you want to share ranging from hats shoes leather bags rings red gemstones name it i mean there are a lot of symbolic things here even if you're somebody who is a spiritual type i mean the kind of spiritism that is practiced in the uk in africa we have christianity muslims in india you have hindu Sikh, and the rest of that but here in the uk they have this gothic kind of spiritism um believing in psychic medium and transference and listening to the dead or communicating with the dead and transferring messages or giving people reading cards card readings so um you'll find a lot of things like that in this also in the store there is a particular that, i mean there's a little of everything for every person i mean you find a lot of things here um you find precious rings stones i mean this is a store that sells some of those kind of spiritism lights i mean you can see how um that store looks like and how those lights you know this halloweenish feel that's what that store that's what the vibe that store was giving to me now walking down the store i mean we could see variety of bags shoes there are just standard things that you can actually get for your loved ones and this is another shop that sells kind of spiritism things it's called the Emporium, the Hot Sauce Emporium. I tried to zoom in to see, and here are wallpapers. Um, I tried to zoom in to see if I could actually see what is actually being sold in those stores. Zoom in to see if I can see details of the kind of things that were sold in that shop. Just out of curiosity, because I mean, there's really nothing I'm going to be buying in those shop. I'm just approaching the shop now, as you can see, this kind of thing, the Halloweenish feel, the gothic kind of feeling. Okay, it's called the Hot Sauce Emporium. Um, I couldn't get a lot of things, but you could see it just range from a lot of things, you know, they know what they practice and how they practice it. You see people who dress in, we have a lot of black accents and black makeups, making their hairs, ear piercings a new person at all. I mean, it's their culture. We have to respect them. Um, however, moving on into other stores, you can see other things that are available. There are lots of stones, rare stones. You can see rare gems here. These stones are expensive. Trust me, there is no stone here that was worth less than 500 pounds. So you have a lot, and here is um, the section under store where they had rings, necklaces with rare stones. So in this store, there are a lot of um, necklaces that have rare stones and rare gems. Um, even engagement rings, normal rings, which you could actually gift out to your loved ones, um, you know, just to show them that you came to Bristol or just to show them your love. My surprise is the cost of the stones. The stones come from far and wide. I had a chat with one of the sellers and he did say that these stones, some of them, and not actually from the UK so they actually specialize in getting rare stones and selling them and some of these stones are going to be used as artifacts and decorations in homes in offices so I'm not surprised you can see these rings those rings and earrings none was less than 200 pounds trust me I was surprised but here you go and here is a highlight of the day for me the African store you can see and feel the Africanness in this store already okay that is like the io game here you have the wooden artifacts all decorated nicely most of these things like i mentioned are going to be used for decorations in homes in houses in offices you actually see these things but you wouldn't know where they are picked from okay you will see um the crafts the handmade soaps some of the herbs and um spices from africa were all in this store the good thing about this shop is that most of the shops are empty so whenever you want to buy something you actually have to now you know ask you see the price tag there so you just pay for whatever you want to buy 
and keep the money like nobody expects you to steal anything from these shops it's really amazing however there are other shops that have people attending to them in those shops because you have to ask questions definitely if you're buying jewelries and all of that and if you have questions about the stones or other things that they have been selling and that was the highlight for me on this part of my vlog i'm gonna be taking you along again in some other part of my vlog in bristol where we're gonna be seeing a lot of things to do and places to go eat so what i said this is an highlight for me is that you see most of these things which are here which people are going to buy and use as decorations are actually useful things that we use back home like wooden spoon you know um the woods for cutting up um fresh vegetables you know uh, these things are things that we use and are handy to us but people will come here and buy some of these things and just keep them for keeping sake And so after you come out of the African shop, I just, this is the studio, this is the entrance to the actual studio where people go for um, whatever it is, artistic impressions they want to do. So um, in my next video, we're going to be looking at another part of my visit to Bristol and what I got to do. We're going to be looking at places you can go and eat, lovely, beautiful river in Bristol and lots more to share if you did like this video like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one love you as always bye for now